Hello, today I'll be talking about fault level management. One of the methods is using fault level reduction. But why is fault level management required? Why in power system? Well, in the first YouTube, I discussed about fault level calculation or through fault transformer. And of course, transforms are um, you know deployed or utilized in tr transmission or dis distribution system depend their size and application. So um, we need to find out why it is the uh, fault level is uh, or why is fault level management required. So if we look at YouTube. So as um, you know, the Scottish energy, Scottish power energy uh, guys uh, was talking, um, fault level uh, management is required because we need to assess the capab capacity or capability of the equipment rating because excessive uh, fault current or energy can damage the equipment. So we must be able to determine <coughs> the, 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 the limit in the fault level assessment as well. So in here, uh, I've just created a single line diagram uh, for 400 kV to 132 kilovolt uh, bus path using a single transformer, double transformer, and on you know, here, series reactor. And of course, what I would like to uh, highlight is this. If you look on here, it is a single one, and then on here it's a double one. Obviously, in double transformer, the impedance will be half it. And then in here, uh, the circuit breaker on, and then off. So why this is required is because uh, fault level uh, reduction uh, can be done by actually by splitting network. So we can split this network, meaning that this network becomes like um, equivalent to this one because each transformer are working separately. And then if we look on here, we have transformer and uh, added with the, uh, connected with the reactor in series. So this means that. This, the impedance of the total impedance will be, or equivalent impedance will be increasing. So the higher the impedance, the, the lower the fault current. So uh, these are the technique. So from here, like it's, everything is the same, you just add the trans the reactors in series on and off. So in here, if we look at this two cases, fault level reduction by adding series. So we add in series, and then of course, again, split the network in here. So let's have a look how the fault current in kilamp in MVA are calculated. So in, if you look on here, the fault current in MVA, the top one, uh, kilamp or RMS fault current in kilamp again, and then the peak current in here. In so the uh, only one uh, fault in feed or the same fault in feed are applied. So everything six three, the maximum fault current in bus bar. Uh, but if we look at the fault current in uh, LV side of the transformer. In here, it's 12. 
Tila, which is a, a test bench, uh, you know, benchmark for this scenarios. So in the second one, the identical transformer, then the impedance is like almost doubled, increased to 23 kiloamp. This is the reason because the transform impedance is half it. And then in this, the same as this one, but in this case, then the fault current is reduced by half. So to from 23 to 12, because we split the network. So the fault level is now reduced from 23 to 22 to 12. Technically, this become identical to this one. Another scenario is that by adding reactor in series with the transformer. So as soon as we add a transformer, uh, a reactor with the transformer, then the, the impedance will be high. Then the current will reduce. So for example, if we compare this one, it was 12 kiloamp. Now it is reduced to 6 kiloamp because of the impedance of the reactor. Then here, if we look at this one in parallel transformer added series reactors, then from 23 kiloamp reduced to 11 kiloamp, almost half. And then again from here, uh, from 6 kiloamp increased to 11 because in here it, it was a single uh, reactor, but in here it is parallel operation. In parallel, the, the product will be half of the impedance is half, so the, the you know the current will double it. Okay. Uh, okay, this is the same as this one, except the circuit breaker is closed. Then if we look at on here, the circuit breaker is off, disconnected. So technically this becomes equivalent to this one. So this becomes six kiloam. But if we compare with this one, it is now reduced from 12 to um, six kiloam because it is again, uh, we added the reactor in series. This is... The case so either by splitting the network or by adding resist uh, uh, reactor in series. So if we look at on here, for example, if we are uh, if we compare this twelve, then it gets worse when we add a series uh, uh, by splitting network. If we add a, a series reactor, then it the default current will be uh, reduced substantially from twelve kilo to six. So for example, in here it was twenty three, but here twelve and six. Or if we use a single transformer from 12 kiloam to 6 kiloam, if we add a single reactor, okay? We can just check and uh, verify this in, in uh, impedance-wise. So the top one is, for example, like this is X, R, Z. So uh, to calculate the Z, we have already discussed this in the previous V-square over MV or short circuit. Capacitance, okay, short circuit capacitance. So if we calculate this one, we get 400 kV divided by this NVA, then we get six three point six seven. But in parallel operation, well, the impedance will be half it. So for example, in here it was six ohm, but on here it's half three point three. Again, in here when we split this one, this becomes six, so which is the same as this one. And then if we look at on here, then uh, if we add a series reactor, then this from this impedance. This impedance is doubled because we add uh, uh, almost the same uh, the same transformer impedance in, in series as a reactor. Then, if you look on here, then uh, it's the same as this, and and of course, if you look on here, then it it is reduced because. Uh, they are in parallel operation, then in here, then uh, the impedance become increased again because when we split up, this become same as this one, 12.62, okay? So this is a uh, um, network impedance analysis method, okay? Yeah, thank you.